Alan Pierce at the ranch. Now, how can you get better than this? It's beautiful, beautiful sunny day. It's cool, 45 degrees, a nice breeze blowing, which is fantastic. I love this time of year. Look, the grass is green, the birds are riz. I wonder where those birdies, anyway. Uh, but look, it's beautiful. Now, here, out here in this beautiful day with you is to do a couple of things, an update on our fence. You know from our earlier video that Diana and I spent quite a bit of time this past summer putting in a new fence. Took out the old cedar rail fence, sold the rails, people want them for some reason, burnt a bunch of junk, and we put in a nice new fence, the full length, 600 feet of fence, 60, I think it's 60 posts buried, uh, uh, drilled and buried in the ground, uh, four feet deep, some in cement, a lot of them didn't, didn't need to, and then <clears throat> each of the top of each one of those posts was uh, was uh, curved a little bit, and the rails, they went along the top, and the rails overlap at the corners, and they're lagged in solid, this fence is solid. Now to make sure that the horses don't play with it, we also have an electric fence wire that runs along the inside, you can't see it. We did that on purpose, but the horses on this side, they can see it, and uh, they, they stay away from that. We're going to show you just a quick picture of that wire in a second, uh, that's not terribly important. The other thing I wanted to show you uh, that we did was, uh, was make this gate. I've got two or three gates around the ranch that are unique, and, and the reason for that is that there's no one gate that suits all purposes. This is a, a rather unique uh, uh, post and rail fence, and it ends at a telephone pole here with our ranch gate. You've seen pictures of that at the very beginning. So I had to have a gate, a gate that would stop the horses and the donkeys from going through, but that we could easily get in and out if we wanted to. It's a nice wide space, three feet. So here I have two chains hanging there, and that's great. They're fastened on one end with a, with a screw eye, and the other end, they're easy to get out. Watch this. There you go. I even put a screw eye down there so I can stand it up in there and keep it ready. So now I can walk through. I can pick up my shovel or my tools and walk back in. And when I want to close the gate, I simply pick up this pole and it goes in there and down there. And the gate's closed and away I go. So it's kind of a unique gate. I don't know if I've seen one of these before or if I got the idea myself, but it's a kind of unique gate and it just might fit in one of your applications, some of you guys out there with ranches of your own, the, the simple gate. Of course, you can put as many chains on here as you want, but to be able to open and close it easily without a lot of fiddling, that's the important thing. Anyway, beautiful day, beautiful fence, beautiful pond. I love it. Nothing better than living in the country. As you know, Alec Pierce at the ranch. Talk to you soon.